My name's Jeremy and um, I'm here with a solution to a problem. I looked online when I, when I did this and um, I could not find a solution to this problem and I'll, I'll tell you what the problem is. I have a Seagate 3 terabyte drive here. This one comes in, uh, comes in a bookcase similar like this one and what I did well, I'll tell you what the problem is. It ran, um, the arms on the hard drive go over twice, like that, okay? The hard drive is spinning and then it stops and I get nothing. So I couldn't bring any of the information off of this hard drive. So um, I was looking online for kind of solutions to this and I couldn't find one, but there was a lot of people who had that question. If, it go, if the arm goes across the drive twice, and the drive is spinning and they can't get the computer to recognize the hard drive or to read anything off of it and that was the problem nobody seemed to have a solution to that so um, I sort of worked on that a little bit and I found that out by opening up the hard drive something you're not meant to do but at this point I couldn't retrieve any of the information off of it okay so what I did was I went to Memory Express and I bought exactly the same hard drive okay um, so that I could take the um, electronics out of this one and put it in this one, which I did, okay? So, first of all, I exchanged this one. This is the, uh, basically, the reader. I'll take this off, actually. This is the, the thing that comes to the outside of the box. These two pieces are just there. So, I took that one out of there and I exchanged that one on on this computer and tried it out still couldn't get anything to work now then what I did was I took this piece off the electronics on the hard drive so I took this off and I looked at it now I know what I did with the with the um, with the uh, hard drive but it can be done you know you can make this error or you can have a failure but what it was was I plugged in a um, laptop power supply by mistake into this hard drive. I only did it for a couple of minutes, uh, put, hooked it up to the computer and it wouldn't work. And so when I took this board off, uh, I saw that it was a little bit burnt on the, on, the, um, on the circuitry. I could smell it a little bit, but you, you know, it's such a faint smell that uh, you wonder whether you're really smelling it or not. Um, but I could see that there was a little sort of dark patch in, in some of the circuitry on here. Um, so I replaced, I saw it, that's when I went out and bought this one from Memory Express. So I took, came out and I replaced this circuitry with the one from this box. And it didn't work. Um, so I put it all back together again, right? Uh, so with that circuitry and this board, on this hard drive, and they're exactly the same hard drive, and the circuitry board looked similar, not 100% the same, but similar. And so I put it on there and uh, see if I could get it to work. Still wouldn't work, same kind of problem. The, uh, the reader arms would go across the disc twice and then stop. So I went back to Memory Express and I asked a, a techie there for some, um, some uh, idea of what this could be. Because the next thing I was contemplating, and I was looking on YouTube, I was thinking of replacing the arms inside this hard drive. So to put new arms on it, to take the arm out of that one and replace it on that one. And that looked very tricky indeed. Uh, and I am not a tech, um, I'm a car salesman in Edmonton. So um, that looked particularly tricky to do, so I didn't really want to do that. So. Went back to Memory Express and I asked him about what I'd done and he said, oh, that's probably not going to work because the firmware on this particular board, right, on this board would be different from this one because this is a later model. And he said, and it can change week to week. So you, can, you, could have a, you could buy two hard drives almost at the same time and they would be a different firmware. So that was my dilemma. So what I did after that was I went and uh, looked on eBay because this one did have a number of what the board was on it. 
So I, w I got the number off the board, which um, I found on eBay that you could find on, actually on the other side of the board, there's a little printed number. So I got that number off the board and I went on eBay to see if I could buy the same board. And funnily enough, I could. So you could find the same board. Um, and then I was going through, you know, what was for sale and they were around 30, 40 bucks. And um, then I came across one that was uh, in, uh, uh, in White Rock, um, Canada. And that one said it would send you a new, you, if you send your old board to them, which I, which I did, um, they would send you a new board with a, a firmware transfer on it. So that's what I did. I sent this board to um, to a company in White Rock, and they transferred the um, transferred the firmware onto this one and sent me a new board. There's got it's in, there's my new board, and so um, I put this new board in. I put the old one of these in. So this is from the from this hard drive. Um, so I put the old old uh, board in. Uh, sorry, yeah, I put this old board in and collected up and it worked. And so if you have the, the disc spinning and the arm goes across the discs a couple of times, now you have to open it up and that's dangerous. Um, so, and the arm, the arm goes across it a couple of times and then just stops and doesn't read the drive, it's probably uh, this circuit board here. And if you go and buy the same hard drive, that doesn't work because it doesn't have the same firmware. Uh, but you can buy these hard these boards off of um, off of eBay, and I would get somewhere that would do a a, a firmware transfer for you. And uh, so I give a shout out to the guys at uh, Memory Express, the techie there, because he told me about this. I also give a shout out to the company that I sent my old board to and got a new board, and that was PCB Solutions in White Rock, BC because they went a bit above and beyond because they sent me a new board and um, I didn't get it. Um, I waited like a couple of weeks and um, they'd sent it to me, Canada Post. I've got one of those mailboxes, it doesn't come to the house, you, you know, so stuff gets lost. And um, so I, I emailed them and they sent me another one. And so this is the second one that they sent me and it, it worked absolutely perfectly. You know, I, I, I transferred all the information off of this one because I'd already opened this up, so I don't know how long this one's gonna last. And, um, and, and, uh, hang on. Sorry, telephone goes while you're making a video. Um, so that would be my solution. So if, if you have that same problem, um, and, and I suppose, it's not, it may not be that you fried the board, it may be just that the firmware or this board failed on you. And so, and that's why the arm goes across. And buying a, um, buying a, a, a replacement new one, same, exactly the same model, which it was, um, doesn't work all the time because of the firmware. But that firmware transfer, um, PCB Solutions, um, they uh, they did a great job, and I managed to get all of my photographs and videos of family off of this hard drive and onto a new hard drive. And now I'm putting them on two hard drives because I don't want to go through that again. Anyway, that's my little video. I hope that helps anybody with a Seagate uh, three gig hard drive. As I said, it wasn't uh, it wasn't that the hard drive failed, so it's not a knock on Seagate. It was basically because I plugged in a um, power supply from the laptop. Uh, momentary momentary lapse um, I wish the uh, <laughs> I wish my laptop had a different size plug so I couldn't do that um, but I won't do it again anyway so hope that video helps you and uh, yeah take care bye